Hello YouTube. So today I'm going to warm up a cup of coffee with uh, my microwave on 1100 watt inverter in the RV. So I'm running three batteries in parallel, 12 volt, 75 amp hour batteries. Um, one is coming from the truck camper package. Um, and it's plugged in now. Right now I'm at the 13 uh, volts. Your set cup of coffee. This is the first time I've uh, done this. But I am on inverter. This thing is going to make a lot of noise. I ran it for a couple seconds and it kind of buzzes and, and whatnot. So we're going to see what kind of power I'm going to suck out of these three batteries. And how good I could recover. This uh, microwave says, I think it says like 1300 watts in there, but I think on the back I read it's only 900 watt. Um, there is a surge on this inverter of, uh, we're down to 12.9, because I just unplugged the camper from uh, 120 power and just plugged it into an inverter. So I assume the batteries are gonna find 12.7, 12, 12.8. 12, um, I guess there's a little draw on the TVs that are plugged in, even though they're off. I have that TV and then I have a TV in here. Um, it's probably drawing. I, I don't typically unplug them. Um, all right, so it's probably going to take it's probably going to take longer than uh, let's do uh, two minutes. Two minutes cook time. It's two minutes cook time. Let's start. Let's see how this thing goes. I'm going to run this and then check the voltage. Afraid to hit start actually is pretty funny. Okay, here we go. It's not making too much noise. All right, so we're only down to 12.7, 12.3. It's sucking the power out pretty good. I don't mean to bore you with this. this is the first time I've done this I'll even see if my coffee is hot enough to drink down to 12 uh, this would be a two minute video I'm gonna go out and check the wattage after I'm done doing this so look the volts went actually up one volt so this has got to be a huge drain on the on the batteries, on the three batteries. Sorry, I'm a little shaky. It's a little cold in here. 49 seconds left. So the batteries are holding pretty good. Oh, I just dropped below 12. This doesn't tell you anything more. So holding 12 pretty good. That's pretty impressive, I think, for three 12 volt, 75 amp hour batteries. And that's it. Let's see. Let's see. It's pretty warm. Let me just take a sip. Oh. I could probably go another minute. It's just like lukewarm. Lukewarm. So we're back up to 12.5. Okay, we're going to let that sit for 
five minutes and then I'll come back give you a final voltage and not touch anything in the camper. I'll be back. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes or so. Batteries are back to 12.7. Uh, um, this is a 0.1 volt off because uh, there is voltage loss through the wires of the inverter to the batteries. I think I only have 8 gauge. So this was after the microwave test. Um, and I really can't go by this. Um, okay, I'm just going to go out and just show you what I got real quick uh, as a setup for the batteries. Okay, so as you can see, I got two 75 amp hour door cells in there. They're about four or five years old, I think. And you see I have the truck plugged in. So this is a 2006 Chevy, and uh, what it has is uh, the starting battery is over there. And what it has is an accessory or camper package of battery. Um, this is a 70 amp hour battery. I keep this on to keep the water out of the cells. It's a bad design here. And it was overfilling uh, this battery. I had uh, acid leaking problems. But what I did is uh, this has a, a regulator back there. And uh, I increased this wire. Uh, that comes for the charging wire to six gauge. And that wire from the solenoid, there's a 40 amp fuse behind that battery. When the truck is off, the seven pin only runs off that battery. And it comes here, and it goes to a terminal block in here. And the only thing tied to that terminal block is another wire that goes back to the seven pin. So that's how that works. Uh, if I start the truck, it will charge, and it charges pretty good at about 14.5 volts back to the seven pin. Um, I'd like to increase the wire from here to the back seven pin somehow, um, but that's a project for another day. And of course, I plug the camper into itself. Uh, there is the 30 amp cord. Um, I put a 30 amp trailer uh, travel trailer uh, outlet underneath and that runs underneath and ties into my inverter I just ran a outside uh, extension cord and hacked one end off and ran it under the camper to there so I could just plug in and of course I have my uh, 40 amp controller um, and that's that's my setup there and that is an 1100 watt Krieger. I think it has a Boost of 3,000 watts maybe I I don't know I have to look at the specs and there's my solar input here is just a uh, trolling motor uh, Jack and I have uh, two panels uh, That I plug into that and that just goes under here to the camper to there and that's eight gauge wire I want to upgrade that to a six gauge and this is just a hydrometer test um, after my microwave test um, I think I'm right on there hold that level so didn't kill the batteries at all just run in the microwave okay so that's my final resting voltage after the um, microwave test 12.7 12.6 and you just saw the hydrometer reading I'm going to just turn it on for another brief minute just so I could see how many watts the microwave actually pulls so the microwave's running and it looks like about 750 uh, watts kind of varies a bit so that's the wattage that's a that's a low watt appliance actually compared to my toaster oven or the coffee maker which pulls about 800 900 watts um, especially for the uh, coffee maker Okay, I only set that for not even a minute, so that should shut off soon. 
Just give it a second. Yeah, just went off. I hear it beeping. Okay, so that is my microwave draw off the Krieger 1100 watt inverter. And remember, this is a two gauge. It's the only thing I could source. That's a 150 uh, amp breaker. Uh, my solar, this is a 50 amp breaker, and it's a 40 amp MPPT controller. And this is all eight, eight gauge, eight gauge wire. Okay. And just uh, final, I'm pretty good set up for boondocking now. And there's the camper, and there's the two panels I'll be lugging around uh, with me. They're 280 watt panels, uh, like 30 something volts. Uh, I get about 70 volts, so keep them in parallel. With this cold weather, I think it's like 40 degrees today. I can't get them over 100 volts, so the charge controller can handle it. So, all right. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any comments, post them below. Thanks, guys. Well, one thing I just wanted to show is uh, with nothing on in the camper, I'm drawing 19 watts. Which equates to 1.8 amps, almost 2 amps. Okay, so that 19 watts I had, I did have, uh, I did have four puck lights on. I just turned them off, unplugged all the TVs, and turned off all the breakers except the GFI. So the only thing running is uh, this inverter. And now I got it down to no amp draw, but there's 0 0.3, 0 0.4. I believe that is the uh, CO detector. Um, that's all I could think of that drawing some kind of amperage is that detector which I can't turn off and while I'm all set up here let me start the truck let's see how many amps uh, this truck will charge up the batteries. Okay, 12 amps out of the 7 pin 13, 13 amps, which is uh, pretty good, I think, at a 7 pin. I mean, this is as much as I was getting from my solar, my uh, first setup, with the Eco Worthy. Uh, 12, 12 amps is pretty good. And like I said, with the Chevys, they charge at a higher voltage. Uh, the ECM controls the voltage, so you see on that. Uh, and hold it on here. But 15.2 volts. It goes as high as 15.5. And holding it on the battery. So. I get like 14 something out of there, about 17 because it says that it's trying to crank the amps through. That's just how Chevy is, so it's a good charging source. If I can increase that wire. And just a note, it's only been about 5 minutes. I'm down to uh, 8 amps from the truck only. Uh, we just use the truck as an emergency uh, thing. I could even run the truck, I think when I'm running a load. I'm not sure how high this will increase. Um, let me just start the microwave a minute and see what happens. just want to get this before I start the microwave just to see how many amps I could pull from the truck. I'm at 14.4 volts here already that's what the truck is charging the batteries at and you saw I was getting 15.2 at the uh, ECM at the battery itself 
So through losses, that's what I get. I think that's a good uh, charging voltage uh, for the Chevys to put in. Okay, let me start this microwave a minute and run out and just check the amps. He's... Okay, here I'm getting 21 amps from the truck with the uh, microwave on. 21 amps. And, uh... Crap, we're at a thousand thirty watts. All right, it's down. It must have kicked off. That was pretty crazy. So, okay, so conclusion to this video is my opinion there's no reason to run the microwave when you're boondocking. You want to warm something up, warm it up on the stove. You want to make popcorn? Jiffy Pop. Um, and that's all I got. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.